lot to do today, but before you leave, obviously we have one subject we have to ask you about. Can you please update and break down the John Jones situation? I know that the ruling has not come down yet, but if you could just go into where he got, why he got to where he is now, and what, it, tell us what you can tell us. How, how about that? What, what yeah, do we expect well, here? you know, really not much to update, but there's enough out there in the public realm that, you yeah. know, that I can talk about it. So um, John uh, tested positive from a sample collection done way in day before for the UFC event in Anaheim. Um, that was in July. Um, basically, um, you know, he had, he was just coming off a one year suspension Um the previous suspension uh, went to arbitration. So you had three independent arbitrators looking at it mm -hmm. and all of them ruled that he did not purposely um, use anything to enhance his performance. But they also ruled that he operated in such careless and reckless disregard for what he took that ended up being contaminated, that there was really no reduction in sanctions. So he got a one year uh, sanction from that previous one. Now, unfortunately, um, on this one, because of that previous sanction, he's potentially looking at, you know, a second sanction, which would basically double your penalties. Um, the, the substance that he tested positive for, um, was a metabolite of an anabolic steroid. Um, it was, uh, one by the name of oral turinabol and kind of, as I was talking with earlier about new testing coming online, um, that was a substance where a few years ago would only be detectable for a few days in the system. Now, uh, laboratories have found long-term metabolites tests where the metabolites can be detected for maybe up to six months after use. Wow. Um, however, John submitted clean tests on July 6th and July 7th of 2017. Um, his positive test was from July 29th. Um, a simple Google search would show you that this substance, the detection window, has now moved out from four to six months. Um, so it doesn't make a lot of sense with that anybody with any level of sophistication would choose to use this drug. And it had to have been used after July 7th or entered his system after July 7th. It would not make sense to go to this drug because of the you know multi-month detection window. Um, so, you know, right now, at least from the things that are out there, that would lead me to believe that it was probably from, you know, non-purposeful ingestion. Now, the issue again with John is he's likely going to be held to a very high standard about the care that he took regarding what into his, went into a system because he had already gone through that a year ago with his previous sanction. Um, so really where we're at right now is, you know, John's team is working hard. Uh, we're assisting them wherever they can to try to determine how this substance got into his system. Right. Um, sometimes that's not a, a quick process. Um, it can take weeks, if not months, of testing supplements, of retracing your steps, so uh, that's really where we're at in the process right now with John. So, so there is there a chance with all this, you know, cooperation you're giving them and they're giving you that he could get away from this or in your I know you, you, in your guesstimate, are we looking at a four year suspension for John or if he finds out if you find out in some way that he was in no way aware if that can be proven that he took this, is there a chance that of restitution that'll get out of this? Or are we looking at the greatest fall from grace I've ever seen an athlete? go through I mean you've, you've dealt with Lance Armstrong Barry Bonds Roger Clemens and now John Jones uh, second part of the question is this one of the greatest falls from grace you've ever seen an athlete go through that has so much potential yeah I mean it's first off you know I think we're really looking at all scenarios are still on the table I think you know best case scenario if he showed that this came from something that you know was not high risk that you know how would someone know to take this that it would be in it I'll give you a perfect example we've had several cases in Mexico and China uh, positive for a substance called clenbuterol and come to find out clenbuterol is actually given to cattle in those countries and that low levels of clenbuterol can pass through the meat and get in the system of those who consume the meat. Wow. So in those instances, USADA has basically given no fault sanction. So there was no suspension. They said, hey, you know, maybe you should be a little careful going forward, choosing what butchers you go to, <laughs> but we can't really hold you liable for that. Uh, so something like that on the table, yeah, I mean, would, would be a best case scenario for John. And we have seen instances under the program where there's no sanction at all. Um, should it result from a supplement that was high risk, 
Um, then obviously, you know, we're in another another area there. And again, based on his previous sanction, probably would not look good for him. Yeah. yeah in terms of the biggest fall from grace, I mean, hard to say. He's I, I'm just you know, I tell you how much these personally affect me. And sure. uh, the two toughest days in my career, at the UFC were. His first one, you know, what, three days before UFC 200, and I had to call Dana up and tell him that, you know, his main event was going off. And this is probably the second uh, toughest one, um, just because where John has come from, how far he fought to get back. I, you know, I don't know, Bruce, if you talked to him after that most recent win, I thought he did everything right. Amazing. After the yes. fight, backstage, like he couldn't have been on point better. And um, I was so happy you know, I've gotten to see a note. Yeah, I've gotten to know him very well through helping him through the first one, and I'm just really so so disappointed and and hope that the scenario where you know we can show that there is little, if any, fault and what how it entered his system is the one that comes out. Well, thank you for that. I mean, it's very kind, very strong, and very uh, descriptive words of truth. And um, I'm with you all the way. I I was so taken with John the way he handled his after fight interview. Uh, it was just it was just it was just beautiful. And I, like I said before in my show, I almost put my hand through the wall of my office the morning I read this. Speaking of food being tainted, be careful. There was an article a couple weeks ago that Alaskan salmon is showing traces of cocaine. So <laughs> if that happens, ask them what they had for dinner last night, will you please, and where they, where they got it. It, it. This is part of the problem going on in the world. There's so much contamination in so many areas. You've got to consider all these areas, too. I, I have to tell you before I go, Jeff, getting to know you has truly been a pleasure. My respect for you and what you have to do uh, in our great sport and in sports in general is unheralded you're in my opinion aside from being the powerful men that run the ufc and and run you know other areas of the sport i think personally you're one of the most important men uh in position in this sport and i thank you for your passion to the athletes your care of the athletes everything you do for the athletes and you're certainly in my book nowhere near a villain you're a savior and you're a sheriff, and and I respect that tremendously. So I bow to you, sir. I really, I really do. It's great to have you on board, and um, I can't say anything more. But really, thanks for coming on the show. This has been very, we've been looking forward to this for a long time. You got it, Bruce. I appreciate it. And as you know, we've spoken about. Uh, I admire so much what you do and Thank all you. the events. I'm out, you know, 70, 80 percent of the events, and you set the tone every single one of them uh, early on. And uh, yeah, you're really talented guy and it's a pleasure getting to know you and consider you my friend as well thank you jeff thank you very much you have a great day and my best wishes to everybody there with this horrific situation going on i will see you next friday let's uh get back to normal and uh, provide the amount of great entertainment that the ufc does provide and us as a team and a pleasure to work with you jeff and thank you so much for coming on my show thank you so much you got it guys thanks a lot thank you take care thanks jeff yeah, the, the biggest thing i think that we need to sort of put into